Welcome back, my friends. It is finally May 1st, 2019, 9.15 p.m. Uh, we're taking a look at the current temperatures. We do have some pretty uh, somewhat breaking news to show. Um, I don't know what's going to come of it, but uh, a good friend of mine, Chris Adams, just uh, pointed this out to me. Um, he's always sending me good info, and uh, Caroline sent me some pretty interesting info as well. Really quick, just take out, uh, take a look rather at the uh, current temperatures. We all know Texas is getting slammed right now. There's been many, many tornado warnings and watches going on over the last 24 hours over Texas. So I'm going to bring you quickly to this lightning chart. As we can see, there are still very, very heavy storms involved in the Texas area going into Oklahoma. Um, chances are they're going to move right into Louisiana, just like we always see. And there is a tornado threat that will move up to the northeast uh, somewhat. We can't really predict that far ahead yet. we got to wait and let a few more hours pass by. But just look at the amount of energy involved in this storm, guys. I keep mentioning this energy because it's going to relate to what I'm about to tell you now. Um, as far as the um, expired tornado warnings, most, if not all, as you can see here, are expired. These were all Texas, a couple in Oklahoma. Like I said, Oklahoma and Texas had a very rough day. They've been having very rough days uh, for the past couple weeks. Um... We have uh, many storm chasers and many people who follow weather that live in Texas. So uh, we're trying to stay together as a team and get this info out together so we can keep you all informed. So that is the situation in Texas right now. But uh, guys, I have something else I want to talk about right now. And, you know, this gets me excited. Not so much the path of this so-called possible disturbance we're looking at in the Atlantic Ocean May 1st. 20% chance of cyclone formation over five days so we finally have our first i guess you can say not so much an invest but a warning a uh a little bit of a hey guess what we're getting close to uh this time where we're going to be watching the ocean uh specific specifically the atlantic ocean of course and the pacific obviously we always watch the pacific as that season begins before the atlantic but looking at this now guys we already have a disturbance 20% chance over the next five days. So we dug in a little bit more just to see what's going on. Um, we could see nothing going on in the Pacific at the moment. Um, when you go to Tropical Tidbits, um, I've switched through the um, FV3 version. I've switched through the GFS. I went through the Canadian model. And all it's really showing is it is showing the energy moving up in this area. It's not showing that round you know, shape we look for for hurricanes or anything like that because chances are this thing will dissipate. I don't see this forming into a hurricane or anything super threatening to land, only because we are still dealing with cooler waters. It's very early in the season. It's not even the season yet. The season starts June 1st. It's May 1st. So we have exactly one month from today is the official start of the season, but yet one month before the official start, we have our first invest. So I, I, I like repeating that, guys. We've had hurricanes in April. We've had hurricanes in December. So both of those dates are outside the actual season numbers, June 1st through November 30th. So we need to keep an eye on the Atlantic Ocean. And the reason why I believe that this has potential, not so much as hurricane potential, but potential to be a significant storm, take a look at these red areas, guys. This is very high-energy stuff. So they said 20% over five days they're expecting an invest in this area. So I'm going to go through these next five days, and you're going to see how these dark, dark reds begin to move up the east coast of Florida. So it is showing... Um, oh, this is our buoy deal. Oh, by the way, this buoy's still out. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe we'll look into it. I feel like I'm done with that video or that topic. Um, it's getting kind of old now. They basically just shut the buoy down. Anyway, so check this out. Right now, first, I'm going to go through the next five days as the, um, warning showed that over the next five days, they're expecting 20% chance of cyclone formation. So let's look at the next five days and see what happens. So we'll go to the second. And you're, I, I'm telling you, you're going to start to see this red move right up here, right within that five-day period. Here comes Friday the 3rd, Saturday the 4th, and we already see the red. The entire gulf is filled with energy. This is what happens, guys. And a lot of this energy passes over to the Pacific Ocean, and that's where we get these spiral um, 
hurricanes that spin out this way and then head out towards Hawaii or maybe up a little north toward the Baja. So this is how this all works, guys. We're right in that, that uh, oh, what do they call it, Goldilocks zone, I like to say, even though that's a planetary term. But check this out, guys. Five days in from now, much energy on the east coast of Florida. So we're going to keep an eye on this. Like I said, chances are this will dissipate. Uh, for all I know, it could be back to zero by the time the video is posted. So I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Uh, my goal today was to put a live stream out because we have some crazy pictures to show you guys. Uh, things I cannot explain. And um, I do not feel like sending them out to other channels that analyze stuff because I'm going to start doing it on my own. And um, I want to show uh, your pictures and videos on this channel rather than sending them out and... Um, giving other channels credit. You guys deserve the credit. We deserve the credit. So we're going to start doing it here. But uh, that's what I got for you for now, guys. We have a possible invest in the Atlantic Ocean. Five days, 20% chance. So we got to just wait and see. Like I said, don't get your supplies ready. Don't start going crazy over this. We're very, very early in the season. Just take note of it. And that's all. We're going to follow it. And I'll keep you posted, guys. Thanks a lot. Caroline, thank you very much. And Chris Adams, thank you very much as well. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.